Warning, this video has graphic content. Typically cold cases are major felony crimes, such as murder or rape, which unlike unsolved minor crimes that are generally not subject to a statute of limitations. Sometimes disappearances can also be considered cold cases. About 35% of those cases are not cold cases at all. Some cases become instantly cold when a seemingly solved case is reopened due to the discovery of new evidence pointing away from the original suspects. Without further ado, this is Top 10 Mysterious Cases Still Unsolved in 2019. Number 10. Taconic Parkway Crash On July 26, 2009, at 9.30 a.m., Diane Schuler left a Hunter Lake campground in Parksville, New York, with her young son and daughter and her brother's three daughters. Not long after their departure, Diane stopped at a McDonald's and then a gas station. She called her brother around 11.30 a.m. about traffic. It was at this point that things took a terrifying turn. Approximately 10 to 15 minutes after hanging up, Diane pulled over. A witness later reported seeing Diane doubled over as if she was vomiting. At 11 o'clock a.m., Scholar's brother got another call, this time from his daughter, claiming Diane was struggling to see and speak. Around 1.30 p.m., Schuler's car driving a wrong way down the Taconic State Parkway collided with a SUV. All three passengers in the other car were killed in the collision, while Schuler, her daughter, and two of her nieces also died. Schuler's son and her niece were rushed to the hospital, where the niece later died that day. Police were confused as to why Schuler drove at 60 miles per hour for two miles in the opposite direction on the Taconic State Parkway. Another mystery was a toxicology report which found that Schuler had a blood alcohol level of 0.19, twice the legal limit, and traces of THC in her system. Numerous witnesses who had interacted with Diane earlier that morning, from the owner of the campground to a gas station employee, said that Diana appeared sober. Number 9. The Servant Girl Annihilator the perpetrator of these eight axe murderers came to be known as a servant girl annihilator for his choice in target and terrifying method in which he killed. Seven women and one man were all attacked in their homes while asleep in their beds. The bodies were found in the same position with sharp objects poking out of their ears. The murderer continued for a full year before suddenly stopping when additional police officers were hired and citizens formed vigilant committees to patrol the streets at night. After a few quiet weeks, newspapers reported that the killer fled the area from fear of being caught. Because of this, authorities never caught the killer. Outrageous theories about the killer continue to this day. Even theories that the killer was Jack the Ripper himself on the trip across the Atlantic. Number 8. Young Margaret Martin On December 17, 1938, young Margaret Martin went missing and was found dead a few days later. On the day she went missing, Martin met a man who offered her a secretary position. After this, she was never seen from again until a hunter discovered her body in the wilderness. A massive manhunt started. Countless suspects were called in and questioned, but no one was ever convicted. Several witnesses reported seeing Martin climbing into a brown plymouth and driving off with a man. An article published in 1999 claimed that Martin was tortured and murdered in a sawmill about 15 miles from where her body was found. The killer reportedly tried to dismember her body and destroy it in the mill's firebox but was scared off by the mill's owner who believed the killer to be a simple trespasser. The killer then abandoned Martin's body on the creek side. She was only 19 years old at the time of her death. Number 7. New Orleans Axeman In 1919, an axe-wielding killer stalked New Orleans, murdering 6 and attacking 12 more. Many of those murdered were Italian or Italian-American, causing many to believe the attacks were originally motivated. In one of his most notorious acts on March 13, 1919, a letter said to have been written by the Axeman was published in the newspaper Citywide. As you may have guessed, that night, the New Orleans dance halls were overflowing as both professionals and amateur bands played jazz at hundreds of parties across the city. Not a single person died that night. He killed regularly until October 1919 when the attack suddenly stopped and the Axeman vanished from the streets of New Orleans. 
Number 6. Villisca Axe Murders On June 9, 1912, in Villisca, Iowa, six members of the Moore family and two house guests were found murdered in the family home. All eight victims, including six children, had suffered from severe head wounds from a blunt force of an axe. The axe had belonged to the family and was left in the guest bedroom when the killer was done with it. The investigation for this case got further than most on this list. Several suspects were processed and many went to trial. One even went twice. The first trial ended in a split jury while the second suspect was acquitted. The Moore's family were well known and well liked in the community. The motive and the case remain a mystery to this day. Number 5. Benny Evangelist Massacre this unsolved case remains one of Detroit's most infamous murders. On July 3rd, 1929, Benny Evangelist, his wife, and their four children were found brutally hacked to death in their home. Benny was a strange figure who had attracted both supporters and enemies over the years. He was a healer who charged $10 per session, using methods ranging from black magic to herbal medicine. Many former customers believed they were being ripped off. Some of them were quite vocal about their disappointment. The head of Benny was found completely severed from his body that was sitting on a chair, leading police to believe that he was a true target of the attack. One forensic analyst said it seemed to be the work of a single killer, but thought it was strange that no one heard any screams or commotion. No weapon was found, nor were fingerprints of anyone besides the family found at the crime scene. Number 4. The Grimes On the night of December 27, 1956, Barbara and Patricia Grimes attended the showing of Elvis Presley's Love Me Tender. The young teens were due home at midnight but never arrived. At 2.15 a.m. their mother reported them missing. The case of these girls had become the largest missing person investigation Chicago had ever seen. Their bodies were found on December 22nd, though there were numerous reporting sightings of the two, and the investigation quickly centered around one suspect. There, were, there was never enough evidence to convict them, and the case is still unsolved. Maybe one day the cops will get a big break in the case, or technology would advance to the point of traveling in the past to certain events. You never know. Number 3. Bella Wright What would later become known as a green bicycle case is the murder of a young woman named Bella Wright on July 5th, 1919. She was killed by a single bullet to the face. On the night of her death, Bella was seen riding her bike with an unknown man on a green bike. That man was later identified as Ronald Light. He was considered a prime suspect. Although he did not come forward, it was known that he attempted to dump his bike and a revolver into the lake. He was eventually arrested and he admitted being the mysterious man riding bikes with Wright, but consistently denied killing her. He was tried and acquitted based on the lack of a motive. Despite many other theories, Bella's killer remains unidentified to this day. Number 2. The Jameson Family the bodies of this family of three were discovered four years after they were reported missing on October 8, 2009. Bobby Jameson, Sherlyn Jameson, and their daughter Madison Jameson disappeared from their truck while on a trip to buy land in Oklahoma. In the days following their deaths, the family's truck was discovered by authorities abandoned with their IDs, phones, GPS systems, and approximately $32,000 in cash. Their dog was also found in a vehicle, malnourished after days of being left in the truck without food or water. In November 2013, the remains of two adults and one child, eventually confirmed as the Jemison family, were found by hunters around three miles from where their truck was left. Authorities are still baffled to what happened. Number 1. Elizabeth Short her body was found on January 15, 1947. Professionals and amateurs continued to pour over the case in hopes of a break. Elizabeth Short was 22 years old at the time of her murder. A walking by citizen by the name of Betty discovered the remains around 10 a.m. in a vacant lot in the park. At first she thought she had discovered a mutilated mannequin. The truth was far grimmer. Short's body had been severed at the waist. Her intestines were tucked beneath her buttocks, her legs had been spread apart, and her elbows bent at right angles. 
Short's face was slit from ear to ear. Her breasts were slashed, her nose was broken, and her body was drained of blood. Short had been missing since January 9th. Her whereabouts during this missing week remain a mystery and is still unsolved to this day. If you liked the video, you might like 10 scary things caught on camera, mystery edition, or 10 scary videos that will make your hair stand in 2019. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.